okay so do you guys follow blotter media on instagram they have this amazing dance videos where there is a kind of a scribbling effect a glowing scribbling effect all throughout their video all throughout their feed and this is something which is pretty easy to make now if you have come for final cut pro for this particular tutorial rian nangal has already made this tutorial uh, not the glowing effect but the scribbling tutorial so you can go in the link in bio to go for the final cut pro tutorial but let me explain why i am showing this effect in after effects only there is a reason i am showing this effect in after effects and not in premiere pro or in final cut pro the reason being if you are trying this particular effect in premiere pro or in final cut pro you are going to take three times more time to make this particular effect when you can take one third of the time and make this effect properly in after effects why do i say that why do i say that final cut pro or premiere pro takes way more time than after effects because in after effects you have an option to draw using a brush over your frame in each and every frame whereas in final cut pro you need to screenshot that particular screen and then draw around on the particular screen and then do the same thing for each and every frame and then export each and every frame and then import each and every frame and then playback and that is a very long process and the same process goes for premiere pro as well export the frame draw on the frame then import the frame again just like a normal time lapse but in after effects it is pretty simple because in after effects if you use a brush and change the brush settings to a single frame it will draw only on one single frame and then you can change the brush settings to a solid layer or solid black layer and that is pretty much it and then you can use the glow effect by using a gaussian blur or using a glow inbuilt plugin of after effects or even use it in the saber plug of video copilot so there's a lot of options to do so in after effects in premiere pro in final cut pro it is a very long process so that is the reason i'm not showing this effect in premiere pro or in final cut pro if you want those effect in either of the two softwares like in premiere pro or in final cut pro i'll link them down below there is one from cinecom.net and there is the final cut one from ria nangal both of them are good both of them are really good but it will take a lot of time if you are editing a one minute video or a two minute video entirely with this particular effect but if you're doing it in after effects you guys will definitely take at least one third of the time you're taking for editing this particular video so with that being said what's up guys this is sammy here welcome to your next video i hope you guys are having a great day with that being said if you like this video do make sure to subscribe to my channel because i am very close to 10000 subscribers and i really want 10000 subscribers with that being said leave a like comment down below subscribe to my channel and let's get started Okay so here we are in after effects and this is a dance footage which is a stock footage i have taken from the internet okay so the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to select the brush tool and then go on the brush panel right here and select the brush and then go there in this paint option and then click on duration and change the duration to single frame and change the color to whatever you feel like now then after this just make sure to click on this video twice so that this panel opens this layer panel opens otherwise you cannot just draw on that particular frame then after that you need to just reduce the timeline size so that you guys can see each and every frame properly and then go to the first frame and then draw a small portion of the dance on the first frame and then go to the second frame draw a second portion of the dance on the second frame then go to the third frame draw another portion of the dance on the third frame go to the fourth frame draw another portion of the dance on the fourth frame and you need to keep on doing this as long as you want this particular effect that is you need to draw on each and every single frame but we can draw this particular thing in final cut pro or in premiere pro also right but in either of the two cases you need to export that particular frame and then draw it somewhere else and then import the frame again in order to make that particular effect proper so in order to just reduce a lot of time we are doing it in after effects because in after effects we can just draw over the particular frames directly within the application which is not possible in either final cut pro or in premiere pro in final cut pro there is a plugin called fcps brush but it is a paid plugin so i am not going to take that hassle so to make this particular thing easier we are going to show this particular effect in after effects which is pretty easy to make and it is trust me it is very easy to make in after effects all you need to do is just draw over the frames and it is done directly in after effects so you don't have any kind of hassle of exporting and importing frames and then drawing it again and then after all this other stuff so like i said you need to keep on drawing the particular frames one after the other so i will just fast forward this particular portion so 
so I'm going to just draw the feet here. So now I'm going to just add a little bit of stomping effect by making this particular things on each and every frame. Like the magnitude is increasing after each and every frame, like as you can see here. So I'm going to just simply draw the particular lines in mode in length one after the other to make this particular epic effect. And it is something which is up to you, you can make any kind of effects with this particular effect. So that is pretty much it. Now after just drawing this particular thing, now what you need to do is you need to have a solid layer. Now in order to just have a solid layer, right click, new, click on solid, make sure this is in black in color and then this is there. And then go to the effects of the main layer panel and then click on paint and then click on command plus C or in windows control plus C and then go to the black solid layer and click on command plus V or control plus V. And then after that you will see all the brush strokes which was there on the main dance clip is already there on the black clip. Now in some cases it might occur that the dance clips are not aligned in the first frame. Like even if you keep the navigation panel on the first frame, it might happen that the drawing clips, like the brush clips are not aligned properly on the first frame. So in that case what you need to do is you need to just simply drag the drawing clips on the left hand side in such a way that the first brush, the first brush which you just drawn should be in the first frame. Make sure that the first brush is in the first frame, just like this. Just let me realign this. As you can see, the first brush one is in the first frame. Make sure it is in the first frame, otherwise it will not work properly. So now go to the main composition. As you can see, it will be a black layer. Now what you need to do is you need to change the blending mode to screen. Now after changing the blending mode to screen, your effect is mostly ready. Now just play it back once. Now what you need to do is you need to just disable the paint effect from the main dance clip because it is not needed or you can always keep it if you want to, it is totally up to you. So now what you are going to do is you are going to add the glowing effect onto this particular scribbling effect. So making a glowing effect is pretty simple. The first thing what you can do is you can use a Gaussian blur onto this footage. First I am going to just copy this clip once, copy and paste. So in the lower layer, go to the effects panel. Type in Gaussian Blur, drag the Gaussian Blur onto the slip and increase the blurriness. And as you can see, if you increase the blurriness, you will see a glowing kind of effect onto your scribbling. And that is pretty much it. And you can change the intensity also. You can change the color of that particular glow also. It is totally up to you. So one part is done. This is how we do one part of this particular thing. One part of this particular way of making the glow. The second way by actually applying the glowing effect is actually by applying a glowing effect onto this clip. So now I'm going to just disable the Gaussian blur and then go to the effects panel and type in glow and drag the glow onto this clip. And as you can see, there's a lot of options. So now what you need to do is you need to just play with the threshold. As you can see, we already see a glowing kind of effect. You can play with the threshold, you can play with the glow radius, you can play with the glow intensity. It is totally up to you what kind of settings you want to use. So that is pretty much it. Your glowing effect is also ready. So with that being said, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. So the first way is how to actually make the scribbling effect. The second way is actually how to use the glow effect, which you can do in two effects. So it is totally up to you how you do it. With that being said, this is pretty much it. And this is Pixel Sammy signing out. Peace out.